Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you for clicking on our video today. Well, guess what? We are doing a part two review of the EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial solar panel. Now, if you're wondering what bifacial is, well, we all have friends and family that are bifacial, if you know what I mean. Um, that's all I'll say. But Bifacial means that this specific solar panel, when it's opened up, we'll show you, actually can produce power from the front of the panel and actually from the back. So how do you get the sun to the back? Well, a lot of our subscribers and, and fans posted comments and asked us, hey, why don't you use mirrors? Why don't you use something reflective? And hey, why don't you use aluminum foil? And guess what? We went out and bought all this stuff, and we're going to go ahead and do that review. So I really hope this helps you. Let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just wanna let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. So we're starting off our test. We've got a super clear sky. I want you to see what blue looks like. Look at blue with no clouds, okay? All the way up, all right? Now we're not in the way of the wires, which is good. This is the 220. Now, I want you to also notice temporarily, and we're gonna to have to move these out, we have something that kind of keeps the panel as straight as possible, first of all, so that we get every ounce of solar. So I'm gonna just pull these out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these in a little while with some of the things I'm gonna connect, but look how straight that panel is. Now, I also want you to see this accessory. This is the solar angle finder. And right now it is almost perfect. I'm gonna take the camera off a little shakage, but I want you to see the shadow. Just look at the shadow. That is a little lower than dead center. So let's look at what wattage we're getting right off the bat. Wow, 173 watts out of a 220 watt panel. Let's go connect some mirrors and see what we can do here. All right, guys, what a contraption this is. But I'm going to show you, and then we're going to check the wattage real quick. These mirrors are basically, as you could see here, I, I put these the best I could. And you can move these. You see how you move them? And you cover more of the inside and the back panel. And I did the same thing with this one. Let's go check wattage real quick. I'm excited to see. So guys, you know, a little disappointing because I don't know why we're only getting 173 watts. Now let's go and take a look at the panel setup again. All right, so let's look at our main panel for a second. In our main panel, we're really spot on, right? So, and we don't have any shading on this panel, so there should be no reason now let's look at the back for a minute. And maybe this is the thing, right? So this one here is practically covering both panels, right? One, two. This one is covering both, again, not 100%, one, two. What's making me think is the shading in the middle of this panel, you know, kind of messing with things. You see that shading back there? You know, I don't know. I mean, there's no way not to get shading in the back of a panel. You know, but uh, yeah, 173 watts. The watts stayed the same for the most part. We're gonna try some other things, but I just wanted to show you this. We removed the mirrors. Let's check our wattage before we move to the next set. All right, we're at 168 watts. So we did get a little more wattage. You know, I don't know what's going on. It's weird, but Let's take a look real quick and see what we can do with those two additional mirrors now. These mirrors are set up. 
let's take a look at the back and run over and see what we're getting so as you could see here that that section there is covered up by this panel and then you know this one is going across all right let's check that out and see there goes that pretty girl hanging out with me so we moved up to 171 watts from 168. Listen, this is really amazing that the panel is up this high in the first place, but I would have thought I would have got more wattage. Let's go ahead and try this guy now and see if it works. There it goes. All right, we removed them. We're going to check the wattage, and then we're going to put these panels that we just showed you up. Oh, by the way, let's check again our angle. I mean, that's still really good, guys. Really good. We're at 166 solar input. Let's go and do this quick. We're going to take both of these guys and bring them over. 166. That's the front. Let's take a look at the back real quick, and then we'll check the wattage. We were at 166. So as you can see here, it is lighting up a lot more, at least consistently. I have to watch because these are light, that they don't move. But I'm impressed with how much it's lighting up. Let's check the wattage real quick. I came back and I clamped these because they were falling down. So I did clamp each corner and we still have good coverage. Let's take a look and see. So 172, 171. So it's funny, these inexpensive folding reflectors work a little better than everything else so far. Take some aluminum foil, put it on cardboard or something, okay? We are at a 167 right now with nothing behind them. Let's go ahead and take these guys and put them behind and see what we get. We had uh, 167 when we checked. We just set these up. Aluminum, okay? Does aluminum work? Got a, a little reflection there on both for sure, you know? It's not going to be as prominent as a mirror, but there you go. All right, we got 170, a couple more watts, you know, seemed like that sm those smaller mirrors just seemed like they did, actually no, the reflectors um, did good, the, the test right before this did pretty good. So we're going to try something different. We're going to try to open the back and get as much back there as possible. So we got a good angle. Still a pretty good angle for the most part. Obviously, we've got a little unevenness, but there's no way to straighten that out right now. Let's try aluminum. What are we getting now? 171 without anything. So let's go ahead and connect. Let's put the aluminum. The aluminum is set up. Let's check the wattage and see if we got any improvement. 175, a little improvement. Let's see what we got with nothing again. All right, we got 170 with nothing. Let's try those panels now. There they go. We'll take a quick peek and run over and see if we can get anything better. And these did a pretty good job. You know what I mean? I found that these did better than the aluminum foil. So let's take a look. All right, 175. So very similar to aluminum in this case. They did better last time. Now let's go back to mirrors. Okay, nothing here so far. Real good angle. Let's try the smaller mirrors for now. You can see we've got the mirrors straight across practically, a little bit of shade because of the table, not much, but these guys here, you know, going end to end. Let's see what we got. 173, definitely a mixed message here. 
no clouds in the sky, so it's weird. 173, we're gonna try the big mirrors and we'll be done. Nothing here, so let's try the big mirrors now. 168, let's put the big mirrors up. They're up, and I mean, they're covering so much of the panels in the back. You know what I mean, you see that? It's all these mirrors. So let's find out. 175, I mean, a little bit better, but wow. I'll tell you, those are more expensive mirrors too. Well guys, we'll take a look at the results in a little while. And we'll talk about it. So let's go over some results. You know, the bottom line is uh, we did the testing with the kickstand and we did the testing without the kickstand. Interesting, with the kickstand, the uh, reflector, the square reflector actually did the best going from 166 watts to 172 watts. The loser was the large mirror. It went from 173 and stayed at 173 watts. Now, when we removed the kickstand, the large mirror did a little better at 168 watts to 175 watts. Our second place contender was still the reflector. The square reflector went from 170 to 175 watts. And the loser in that case was the aluminum. Pretty interesting. By the way, when we, when we close this up, what I like doing is leaving these guys hanging out of the bag, and I leave the top open. I'll tell you why. All right, so I leave these out. Now why? Because when you fold the panel up, this is the glass side, it's the back side, and you can crack that glass. <laughs> I've already heard of some shipment issues where the glass got packed, uh, cracked, and it's weird because they do pack these well. So take care of this panel, it is glass on the back side. And again, I just kind of hang these out. You know, that's all, just a little tip. By the way, while I was shooting this video, I actually have two 400 watt and two 160 watt panels sucking up that sun and throwing them into my Delta Pros. You know, check the channel out. We've definitely been learning a lot more about solar and uh, capturing that free energy and throwing it into battery power stations. I think it was Brooklyn hanging out. Well, you asked for it. We went out and did it. We always try to listen to our subscribers. You guys had some good ideas we should have put in our first review. So this is our part two. If you haven't seen part one, I'll put an image up on the screen there and I will put a link in the upper right hand corner if you want to check that out. We'll also put it in the description of the video. Thanks guys, have a great day and listen, give us a thumbs up if you could. It really helps the channel. Definitely subscribe if you haven't. Become a member of the family. Brooklyn's hanging out over here. She's always with me. I love this girl. All right. Share our video as well. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Hey, guys. Take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.